You are welcome to another video of the course F5 Big IP Advanced WAF or ASM. In this section, I'm going to discuss and demonstrate three topics regarding F5 Advanced WAF logging. First, remote logging to log security events on a remote server, then response logging, which is disabled by default to log web application response traffic in addition to request traffic, and by default, web application security events can be monitored only through the GUI by activating content events logging security events are also logged in a such var a such log a such ASM which can be useful for troubleshooting cases throughout the course we have always applied the log profile log all requests to the web application virtual server to capture all web application requests and then we have monitored the log under security and event logs application and then request in this section we will extend our logging capabilities to include web application responses alongside requests additionally we will configure logging to a store copy of these logs also in slash var slash log slash asm and on a remote log server to enhance logging features in f5 advanced WAF, you should first create a log profile with a desired setting and then assign the log profile to the web application virtual server to a start demonstration we will create a security policy utilizing data guard protection this setup will enable us to generate sample data leak traffic and log the output to verify the desired features. First, we create a security policy based on comprehensive security policy with enforcement mode to blocking and a staging disabled. And we apply the security profile to the virtual server PHP auction related to hack it yourself web application and then we will save then in advanced protection section of application security policy under data guard feature we will enable data guard feature without any modification and then save and then apply policy Additionally, we make sure that data guards learning, blocking, and alarm are also activated in learning and blocking setting. By default, in comprehensive security template, in data guard, the only violation learning, alarm, and block is activated by default. We have already covered and demonstrated data guard feature in the previous lesson in this course and we don't talk about data guard feature anymore we are going to use data guard just to lock the output with the desired features in the next step we will configure a logging profile and apply it to web application virtual server in the section security event logs and then logging profile by default there are some log profile configured by f5 and then we will create a new log profile with the name of for example Raika underline log underline profile just for the purpose of application security and when we enable application security under application security the option advanced we choose and then we have the option to uh, enable response logging and also to change the storage destination from local storage to remote storage for remote logging we will choose a remote storage in the storage destination and then this will allow us to configure the ip address protocol and also port to send logs to a remote log server in the storage format section we are able to select the fields that we want to be logged for example date time destination ip 
destination port, this device ID, and the violation details, violation rating, violation username, and many other parameters to be logged in remote log server. At the bottom of this page, under request type, choose the type of request traffic to be logged. The options include all requests, log only block requests, log only illegal requests, log illegal requests and requests which are triggering state signatures and they are not blocked because they are matching with the signature that are in a staging mode and not in enforce mode. For this demonstration we will set it to all requests and since a remote log server is not available i will use local storage on the storage destination we will also enable response logging it's possible to log all responses which is not recommended or log the response of only illegal requests and we will choose this option for this demonstration and we will create the profile with the name of right underline log underline profile and finally we will assign the new login profile to hack it your server application virtual server virtual server list php auction and policy and we will change the log profile from log all request to Raika log profile and then we will update the virtual server policy now we will generate data leak traffic to verify if the response traffic is logged or not to do this we will navigate to application auction and we will log in with the username one and password one under control panel we see the information related to username one and then in the url we will change the nick parameter value from username one to a start to make it possible to view the information of all users instead of just one user username one and then enter as we expect it is blocked because data guard feature is activated but to make sure we can check the security events in the section security event logs and application request we see that traffic is blocked because of data guard information leakage detected and if we check usually we only see the logs of the request traffic and we will not see any log regarding response but now the response traffic is also logged since we have activated response logging in log profile which is assigned to the virtual server for the final logging demonstration we will enable content events logging so that application security events are also logged in slash var slash log slash asm by default only administrative and system logs are stored in the file to verify this in a real time you can use the command tail slash var slash log slash asm to see the log in a real time and then if you generate data leak traffic again in control panel and then we change the nick parameter value from username one to a star to view information of all users the traffic is blocked and if we check the output of the slash var slash log slash asm we see that asm application filtering applied which means the traffic is filtered but the details of the traffic and the details of the violation is not written in the output is not log in a slash var slash log slash asm to enable content events logging we set a variable with the name of 
send content event in the section security options application security advanced configuration and then system variable we search for the system variable send content event which is disabled by default and we change it to one to make it activated and after activating content logging we have to restart the service using the command tmsh restart sys services sm which takes a few minutes to be uh, reloaded and then update and after updating the system variable which is changed to one the default is zero we have to restart asm service with command tmsh restart sys service asm it takes a few minutes to be restarted to make sure if you check event logs you see the message asm is not ready asm service is loaded and we generate again data leak traffic by changing the username to a star traffic is blocked and if we check again slash var slash log slash asm in a real time let's check again and we see the details of the violation data guard violation and the details of the traffic it's like two times because i have tested two times the same traffic enabling send content events system variable in f5 advanced WAF is generally not recommended due to its potential performance impact however it can be useful for troubleshooting purposes.